Straight on then with game three, we're on Nightshed. Um, oh, Taren, who's Taren? Coopermeister is Taren in the top left. And, ah, oh, TVT. Um, it's a shame we didn't see the TVT on Eternal Empire because um, that would have been absolutely bossed. Uh, Anyway, uh, it's one game apiece, and yeah, you know, going into this, I expected this match to be very even. I've I've seen both of these guys play. I've played against both of these guys. And I'm pretty sure I've I've played a few friendly games against both of them, and they both know what they're doing. Um, they both know how to macro. They both know um, how to uh, how to structure an army and and all of those types of things. They've both got builds that they can play. They're both aggressive players they're not going to sit back and do nothing so I, I knew that this was going to be a close match and so far it has not disappointed am i watching in slow motion did i accidentally put it in slow-mo i meant to speed it up but <laughs> instead i put it in like half speed so interested to see what a tbt looks like um yeah when i played against uh, royal blue he was terran and he played a strong game against me um so he definitely knows what he's doing I haven't played against Coop as Terran, I don't think. Uh, so I have limited information to tell you about what Cooper's uh, Terran game is gonna look like. So, both of these players opening up pretty standard. Um, you know, 2 one, one is kind of what you expect to see a Terran do uh, against another Terran. Um, so, you know, you open up, get a Reaper out, build the um, reactor on your barracks, get the factory done, swap the reactor, um, swap the factory for that first barracks. While the factory's building, you drop your second uh, barracks as well. And then finally you drop a starport and you move out with Reaper Hellion, um, Reaper and a couple of Hellions, and you follow it up with Marine Medivac. Um, these Reapers though, of Royal Blues, are just, um, are just gonna win? Is that? Uh, Coop, Coop needs, let's let, you know, I was so busy talking about builds, um, I just kind of ignored the fact that actually the, these Reapers are getting ridiculous kills. Ridiculous. Um, so I, I, I don't think Cooper comes back. It's 20 workers to 11. Um, only, only one, um, yeah, only one left, but like it's so hard to kill them with workers, so hard. So Coop is building his own Reapers, and I'm sure he does not really want to be building Reapers right now. He doesn't really have the gas income to get stuff coming out of these, but he could be building Marines from them. And yeah, in very low numbers, Reapers beat Marines, and it's a bit annoying, but you can still use those Marines to stop the Reapers running into your mineral line. You can just have them in a hole position, and then with your own Reapers in the mix. So whichever pair of Reapers gets the first shot off should win this fight. And so Coop can give chess um, and finally, finally stabilize. Um, Royal Blue set, obviously got the rally point set here um, and that Reaper goes down for free. So yeah, at last Coop finds himself with a little bit of breathing space, but the problem is Royal Blue's uh, natural is up and mining. He has 28 workers compared to 15. Um, doesn't have an orbital command though, and that could be significant. So Coopermeister has got mules drop in. And so if we actually look at the income tab, what we find is that it is Coop that is, uh, has the bigger income at present. Oh no, yeah, yeah it does. Uh, yeah. But this is, look how early this is. Um, and of course, uh, you know, I, when you're, oh my goodness, really? That is bold. Uh, if you're in Coop's position, you can feel a little bit hemmed in. The last thing he wants to be building here is more Reapers. Um, you know, neither of these players really has significant tech up, but the factory is ahead for Royal Blue, but he's currently supply blocked, isn't he? And yeah, that's a little bit careless. So, I think this double expo is madness, personally. When you've done that much damage to somebody early on, often you have forced their hand. You've, you've, you've given them no option but to push across the map and try and end the game because you know, if, if you're the player that's taken that damage, you know you're behind. 
like the longer you wait, the you know a, a bit behind in the first five minutes is amplified over time to a lot behind at ten minutes. So oftentimes that can kind of force you. No, don't fight near the bunker. Don't do that. Uh, but yeah, do go and kill this thing. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not sure why he hasn't just hopped up into um, into Royal Blues. Oh, it decides not to kill the worker into Royal Blue's main base uh, because there actually isn't that much that can defend. Uh, it doesn't really want to take this fight, although I guess the Reapers will win it, won't they? So yeah, could might actually be able to get something done. I just think that that double expo is suicide. But sure, like kill these workers because what you don't want is these three racks finishing up because then Royal Blue can like build things quite quickly to see this off. Um, but Royal Blue not mining at all here and all this lost mining time is good. Uh, don't let these guys get surrounded though. Don't let them get surrounded. So mistakes with the micro. Once they're surrounded and the Marines are up in there, they'll shoot them as well. I don't know why these guys are shooting a supply depot instead of these SCVs. Um, does Cooper have enough here? It looks like maybe he does. Um, the SCVs definitely put in in some work and a lot of them going down um, so it is going to be uh, now that the tank is out you'd, you'd like to think this is over I don't really know how Cooper's Marines ended up here past this bunker um, I, this is <laughs> what, what is going on uh, Coops and I killed more of Royal Blue's workers than Royal Blue killed of his and, and we've got a bit of a reversal let's have a quick peek at that income tab doesn't look pretty for Royal Blue so he's got all this infrastructure but look that is an orbital command that is an orbital command lots of energy on them he could probably drop six mules and as soon as he does that he's rich um, he's very rich indeed with this siege tank well placed up here these Marines can't really come in they can kill this though, and I think this is enough Marines that this can't fly away. I don't think this makes it. If Royal Blue micros the, uh, if Cooper Meister micros these a bit, I think he, oh, okay. Um, yeah, Royal Blue correctly pulling some SCVs to come and meet this to repair it if necessary, and identifying that in fact not necessary. I, you know, Coop, I think you could have got a kill on that. I think if you'd have just microed that in, maybe he was scared of a siege tank. Maybe he was scared of the siege tank repositioning and taking another shot to the fist. He doesn't have medevacs yet, but there are two in production, presumably. Um, mm, who's going to win this game? I just don't know. Um, it's swung in favor of Coopermeister in terms of income, but Royal Blue, he has four command centers. Um, you know, so he, he can very quickly recoup those uh, worker losses because he can build four at a time and um, yeah if he was dropping mules which he isn't <laughs> um, he could be very rich indeed uh, now both players have got up to starport and both have a reasonable number of barracks so production is not in bad shape for either player really um, but these barracks are all idle and this is idle and this starport is idle so I don't know why, but Royal Blue isn't building anything. Look in the production tab, one SCV and li literally just two Marines building. Um, but there's money and and there's production facilities. So finally six Marines now building, but you know, that was quite an extended time to be building nothing. This army just wins. The medevacs though, aren't with it. Goodness me, uh, if the medevacs are anywhere near this, that army wins so hard. Why Why wouldn't you stim? You can chase this down and kill all of that for free. Um, so uh, Royal Blue with that kind of, you know, if you think how long has this starport been here and there hasn't been any uh, medevacs out from it yet. Um, like that is, that's pretty awkward, isn't it? Uh, this starport's been alive for many, many minutes and hasn't, and only now has been productive. So I, I don't know, I think Royal Blue maybe lost concentration for a bit was thinking about micro, I uh, sorry, was thinking about macro, was thinking about his um, like tech paths and getting his worker count back up, but really took his finger off the production for just far too long. Uh, and Cooper Meister's gonna come in here and this time, there's no way this CC survives. Royal Blue can't really push down here, not with this siege tank at the back. Now, uh, by the same token, hard for Cooper Meister to push in here. You don't want to take too many shots to the face like that. Although the medevac count is strong. Um, so I'd love to see a scan go down. Uh, 
There's the scan. If I see that scan, I don't think I try and break this. But he is going to try and focus on the siege tank. He's going to get it. His own siege tank is coming up at the back. And I think he may just have enough to par through this. Um, I actually felt that that wasn't the right decision. But um, he's got enough. Uh, he's just got enough. It's as simple as that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, fair play. And uh, now that he's broken the front, he, he's he's here for free. What happened to the siege tank that was up here though? I, did I miss that time? Maybe I did. Uh, he gets a scan on it, and it, it is going to die pretty quickly anyway. The siege tank in the back to all sorts of hurt. This game's over, and Cooper Meister takes it. Which, given the start that Royal Blue had, you sort of feel like it was Royal Blue's game to lose rather than Cooper Meister's to win. And somehow Royal Blue. Did manage to lose it and I can't help but feel that I've got to point the finger at two things one the double expand a double expand when you know surely you know you have forced them into a position where they're gonna come at you a double expand no don't spend the money on that spend it on some static D and, and spend it on Marines spend it on siege tanks spend it on getting further ahead yes but you know via tech path because that's the safer way to get further ahead if you think there's a chance of a counter coming in you know trying to get further ahead economically is a really really risky business unless you've crippled your opponent so hard that they can't counter in which case the more sensible thing to do is to probably just you know go across the map with a second wave of attack and finish them off um, so yeah, I think that was the first error. And the second, the, you know, there was a, a, a long period of time there, like the, it felt like about a minute, where, where Royal Blue just wasn't building anything. Um, all those production facilities were silent and the medevacs were out so lit. Um, so yeah, I would point to those two things. Um, anyway, anyway, GG.